So here you can see that I got three film strips and let's say that I want to add in some graphics right here. Let's say for example, my logo that appears across all of the slides right here. So I can do that by entering the master slide properties. To do that, I'm going to click on one of these slides right over here. Then I'm going to click on properties just like this. And once I do that, you can see that under the title, there's master slide view right over here. So let me just click on this. And once I click on it, the master slide actually appears over here. Here you can make changes to all of the templates that is available right over here, or you can make the change to the master slide over here, as you can see. So I'm gonna go over to the master slide right over here. And let's say I want to add in a text over here. So let's say uh, on, on the bottom left hand side, I want it to also always see tutor tube right over here. I'm just going to change its color right over here into black just like this. And now I'm going to drag it onto the bottom left over here just like this and keep it over here. Let's say for example. And now that tutor tube will appear across all of the slides right here except for the blank one. The blank is totally blank. And now what I'm going to do is I want to go back to the main editing window. So I'm going to click anywhere around at the end right over here around outside of the main box and then I'm going to click on the film strip view right over here and now you'll be able to see that tutor tube uh, the text appears across all of the slides even the new ones that we create so I'm going to say content slide right over here this is a blank slide but if I were to go over here to something else tutor tube the text will appear right over here let me just add in a logo as well so I'm going to go to master slide view right over here and then I'm going to add in a logo on the top right section right here. So I'm going to go to media right here. I'm going to go to image. And then from my documents, I'm just going to bring in my logo right over here. So I'm going to import my logo right over here. I don't want it so big. I just want it uh, at the corner, at the top right corner. So I'm going to hold shift to uh, resize it proportionately just like this. And I'm going to keep it here just like that as you can see I can go to individual uh, content slide as well and make changes over there let's say for example in the uh, title let's say I want the um, I want a shape to appear as well let's say for example something like the square shape just like this I'm going to change that out in the title slide right here so once I make the changes I'm going to go back to uh, film strip view right over here so in the title page you can see the square and you can also see uh, the logo right there but you see the text and the logo on all of the slides right over here as you can see just like that so these are the things that we can do with master slide so you can go to master slide make changes add in elements and they will appear across all of the templates right over there and of course you can go inside and change the master uh, slide as well i uh, just uh, uh, reset uh, the master slide all together right over here. So just you can uh, remove out all of the slides over there as well. So that is how you work around with master slides inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.